This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to talk about the fundamental counting principle as it applies to clothes problems. In our first section, we're going to talk about the fundamental counting principle. The next section, we'll go over our first clothes problem, and then our next section, we'll go over a second clothes problem. Let's get started. Let's talk about the fundamental counting principle. If you are given two independent events and you know how many different possible outcomes there are for the first event and you know how many possible outcomes there are for the second event, it's easy to figure out how many possible outcomes there are for the total number. All you have to do is use a formula. The formula is M times N for the total number of events. M stands for the total number of outcomes of the first event. N stands for the total number of outcomes for the second event. So M times N will be the total number of outcomes of the two things happening together. We could look at what happens if we have three events. If we put three events together, well, the formula would be a little bit different. It would look like this. M stands for the total number of outcomes of the first event. N stands for the total number of outcomes of the second event. P stands for the total number of outcomes of the third event. So if I want to figure out how many possible ways are there to put these three independent events together, it's just M times N times P. All right, we're going to take a look at three problems that demonstrate how to use this principle. All right, here's problem number one. Let's say we had a friend, Alex, and Alex had this setup of clothes. He's got three different shirts, two different pants. Alex wants to know, how many different combinations of uh, clothes can he wear and never quite have the same outfit on um, and see how many different days he could go with different clothes? All right, well, you know, there is a formula, and let's talk about that formula. So the formula says that if I've got two different separate independent events, I just need to know how many are in the first event, how many, which would be M, how many are in the second event, which would be N, and I multiply them together. Well, first you have to understand that these are independent events. I mean, what shirt he wears is not going to affect what pants he wears. Now, we're assuming that all this goes together. He doesn't care what combination he wears. He doesn't care if he puts on the red shirt, gray pants, yellow shirt, in his blue jeans, right? In other words, we don't care about style. We just want to figure out how many different combinations he could wear. All right, so they're independent. His shirts, the, the shirt he puts on and the pants he puts on, they have nothing to do with each other. They're totally independent. So... All right, well, let's see. I'm going to multiply two numbers together. The first number is how many it is from the first set. Well, shirts are the first set. So we know he's got three shirts. We know he's got two pairs of pants, and they are totally independent. So if I take three times two, I get six events. Six events can possibly occur. And it makes sense. He could have yellow gray pants, yellow blue jeans. He could have blue shirt gray pants you could have blue shirt blue jeans a little tacky but he could have that okay and then you can have red shirt gray pants red shirt blue jeans which is a total of six combinations now i don't want to have to keep counting like i just did there to show you that the six numbers is valid i just want to use this formula in the future because sometimes what we count gets very large and Finding all possible combinations gets very difficult. It's just easier to use the formula. All right, on to our next problem. All right, this is problem number two. So let's say Alex has the same set of clothes, and then he just picked up a couple more. So he picked up a white shirt, he picked up a black pair of pants, and now he wants to figure out, hey, how many different combinations of clothes can I wear now? So we're still going to use the same formula for our fundamental accounting principle 
And there it is. So we just want to figure out what our two independent events are. And in this problem, I mean, there, there can be several independent events. In this problem, there's only two independent events. Uh, but for our problem, it looks like I've got shirts and pants. So let's see, how many shirts does he have? He's got four shirts. How many pants? He's got three pants. So it turns out he's got a total of 12 different possibilities. So he almost has two full weeks of different clothes he could wear without ever quite exactly matching the same combination on those 12 days. Okay, that's all there is. This is the fundamental accounting principle as it applies to clothes problems. Make sure you go back to mathguide.com and check out all our interactive quizzes, our other instructional videos, and our text-based lessons. Take care.